Hi y'all, today I'm going to make a recipe for my stepson Donnie. He requested it. He loves this casserole. It's called pineapple casserole and we usually have it at the holidays and it's just really easy to throw together and it's delicious. I would have never thought that I would like something like this, but a neighbor from Alabama who moved to Texas from Alabama gave this to me. It was her recipe and it's delicious. So anyway, here it goes. Preheat your oven to 350. You need a 20 ounce can of pineapple tidbits drained in, in juice, not syrup, and reserve three tablespoons of the juice. So here's the 20 ounce can of the tidbits. Here's the three tablespoons of the juice. Then you're gonna add a half a cup of sugar, three tablespoons of flour, and one cup of cheddar cheese shredded. And I like sharp, but you can use medium or mild, whatever you prefer. And you just mix those first ingredients together. Just make sure they're just nice and everything's just mixed thoroughly. Doesn't take very long because there's not that many ingredients. And you can either butter your baking dish, but I just use some coconut spray just to grease it lightly. And then you pour that into your baking dish. And you can double this recipe. I do sometimes double it at the holidays, but when it's just us, I only do one recipe. Anyway, just spread that out evenly in the baking dish. Then you take a half a cup of Ritz crackers crushed and a quarter cup of melted butter. And then I just mix those together. Just toss it just to try to get all the crumbs with a little bit of butter on them and then you just sprinkle that over the top of the pineapple casserole And that's it. And then you put it in the oven and bake it at 350 for 30 minutes. And I'll come back when it's done. Okay, y'all, it's been in the oven for 30 minutes now and I just took it out. And it's just nice and bubbly and the topping on top is nice and crispy. And that's it. It's that simple. The recipe will be in the details down below. See y'all next time. Bye.